right, we're live with Gina. She's gonna um, do her thing right now. My name is Gina Naomi Dennis, and I am a tribal lawyer here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I stand here today to offer these poetic words. Black people are all over the world. We are part of the very extensive African diaspora. We are in North America, South America, Asia, Europe, Africa, and yes, Wakanda. <laughs> Hundreds of years ago, black people Beautiful. were stolen, taken from the continent of Africa and sold as chattel into the global slave trade. Our ancestors were forced into deadly and abusive slave labor. As a result, our ancestors built this country, the United States of America, with bloody whipped backs and ankles in chains. Yet, despite the horrific hundreds of years of genocide, black people sang songs of hope and freedom. Black people would sing songs in the fields while picking cotton and collecting sugarcane. Black people would go on to sing our songs of hope and freedom that later became the basis of music genres like the blues and jazz. Black people would go on to sing our songs of hope and freedom into Motown music in Detroit in 1959 and into the Civil Rights Movement with Dr. Martin Luther King from 1954 to 1968. Beautiful. Black people would go on to sing our songs of hope and freedom into Brown versus Board of Education in 1954 and into the Civil Rights Act of 1957, the Civil Rights Act of 1960, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Civil Rights Act of 1968, and the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Black people would go on to sing our songs of hope and freedom into the U.S. Supreme Court with the Black Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall from 1967 to 1991. Black people would go on to sing our songs of hope and freedom with Rodney King in 1991 and inside of the Los Angeles riots in 1992. Mm. Black people would go on to sing our songs of hope and freedom into the domination of education, sports, the Olympics, entertainment, R&B, hip hop, rap, and mainstream American pop culture, and eventually into the White House with mm. Barack Obama from 2009 to 2017. Black people will continue onward to sing our songs of hope and freedom, and we will continue to rise and yes, we will be in the White House again soon. We are resilient, we are brilliant, and we are united with all people of color. So the next time you sing a song, think of the black people who wrote those lyrics of hope and freedom. This is our time. Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah. Woo, Gina, go Gina. <laughs> She's the real deal, folks. You better watch out. <laughs>